Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a really easy to use task management tool called Flask. You can find it at flask.io. Here's how it works. Simply click on the create a to-do list. This will work in your mobile browser as well as on your desktop browser. And don't title your list here, just write in the first thing that you want to put on your list. So in my case, I need to go to the grocery store later. I need to get some coffee. And I'm going to make that the beginning of my list. Now here in the purple, in the header, I'm going to rename the list and call it groceries I need to get today. Right, my next item, I need coffee filters. I need some sugar. And I need some cream. Now, you'll see at the top of the screen, this list has been assigned its own unique URL. If I only need to make one list, I can simply copy that URL and use it on my mobile device now. I might bookmark it with OneNote or Google Keep and I can refer to it there. Or I can save this list and I can either register or log in. And when I log in, I'll be able to see that list and I can make a new list in my account. My account is completely free. Make my new list and this list is not things I'm buying, but they're things that I need to complete. So I need to, let's say, email principal at school x. And I'm going to call this my follow-up email list. I need to email the curriculum director at school y. And notice I have a due date option. So maybe I don't need to do both of these today. I'm going to do the other one tomorrow and the other one I'm going to do on Monday. So now I have due dates assigned to these items. Now when I go to use any of these lists, if I'm walking through the grocery store and I pick up my cream, put a check mark there and now it's hidden from the main view of the list. And now that list is complete. So that's a short overview of, of Flask. You can find it at flask.io. It's a quick and easy way to create task management lists. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.